Cover letters, resumes, interview invites, follow-ups, thank you notes, contract offers, and more. It all gets sent over email. Then why are email addresses often afterthoughts? Do you ever look back at your first email address and cringe? I do. I am going to assume that you have already made the intelligent decision to retire your once hip email address from your younger years and have left Kitten Cutie 777, B Ball for Life, and Mr. Bigglesworth 28 in the dust, at least for your job search. However, that does not mean that your email address is in the clear. For example, take a look at John D. Smith 89 at gmail.com. This doesn't mention kittens, basketball, or the naked little kitty from Austin Powers. So what is the problem? Whether John was born in 1989 or not, or graduated in 1989 or not, the hiring manager is going to make assumptions and usually in regards to age. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You won't know. You want to stay away from anything that could create a stereotype of how young or how old you are. What about Indiana U football fan at gmail.com? I know, I know, besides the obvious heartache of being an IU football fan, you want to avoid email addresses with your nickname, pet's name, hobby, or any other personal info besides your name. Take a look at John D underscore Smith 62 with an exclamation as the I. The best email addresses are simple and easy to understand. Avoid using numbers and any symbols because these can be confusing since they take concentration to decipher. When I speak to job seekers, a lot of times they tell me that they had to use such email addresses because their name was already taken by another user. If you're having a hard time finding a suitable combination of your name, don't give up. A professional email address can really help you land the job. Instead, expand your options to include your middle name, initial, or a word related to the field you're pursuing.